Next at 10, News and 6, residents in two Rock County neighborhoods are reacting to the discovery of what police are calling major marijuana growing operations. Police uncovered the operations at two Janesville residences, the first in the 2500 block of Black Bridge Road. That's on the city's northwest side. The other, the 400 block of North Oak Hill Avenue. Three people in the Rock County jail tonight facing charges of possession with intent to sell. Rashawn Anderson and Andrea, Ma Andrea Meyer arrested Tuesday. Carlos Galvan arrested on Wednesday. Police say the two operations are not connected. The 19th Jessica Arp back after spending the afternoon in Rock County, Jessica. Claire Janesville police say the two busts are the largest in recent memory and the first to be found inside the city in years. It was insane to me because it was right next door. Tony Vonish didn't talk to her duplex neighbors much, so she was shocked to see these pictures from inside their house. I thought maybe he'd be like a guy that got a pound here and there and sold it like that, but I never thought he was growing. Janesville police raided the home Tuesday night to find 147 marijuana plants worth about $75,000 and a grow operation spanning the entire house. The smell was overwhelming. Um, down in the basement, the basement was divided into three separate grow areas with the walls being covered with uh, reflective mylar to, to assist in the growing process and it was wall-to-wall -wall marijuana plants. Then just the next day, an investigation that started with a pot plant inside an abandoned vehicle led to this home, and yet another grow operation worth nearly $50,000. The know-how now available on the Internet, uh, people are able to research and try to cut out, you know, try to make it cheaper for them so their profit margin is larger. So they're trying to uh, find ways to do it on their own so they don't have to pay a supplier from outside of our community. I had heard that there might have been a drug dealer within the, within this, this blockage on each side. So, but you couldn't tell. I mean, everybody's just really nice. I mean, the guy even helped me out last winter. Now, residents we talked to tonight do say they're happy the operations have been busted to curb drug activity in their neighborhood, especially because both neighborhoods had many children living in Boy, there. some unbelievable pictures there. And they think these uh, two locations were, you know, significant uh, suppliers uh, in, in recent drug activity there? Well, that's right. The, the police actually say they do think these were significant suppliers, and police now believe this should put a significant dent then in the marijuana supply in the city for quite a while, they hope. All right. News Jessica Art reporting tonight. Jessica. Thank you very much.